Coach Smith, and this is Scooter Tag or Cops and Robbers. It's a fun tagging game to either use as a warm up or a main activity. If you like it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to comment on any activities or games that you'd like to see and subscribe to my channel. Let's get to it. So for Scooter Tag or Cops and Robbers, you're basically gonna need equipment for the taggers, which are the cops, and the non-taggers, which are the robbers. Now for taggers, we use four taggers. So you're gonna need a noodle or a tagging device for each of those four, as well as a scooter. Now, as far as the non-taggers go, it's gonna depend on your class size. I want you to have at least five people in line. Why? Because the line moves very fast. And if you have less than five people, it gets really kind of chaotic and crazy. And the kids don't know, is it my turn or is it not? Where's the end of the line? It just gets a little crazy. So at least five people. Now, if you're like me and you have larger class sizes, then this is what we do. We have a setup here on this end where we have 20 scooters. The remainder line up on behind the, the red cone. We have another set on the other end that are blue and purple scooters. So another 20 scooters. So that enables 40 kids to play plus the four taggers. So that is the equipment that we use for cops and robbers. Now I mentioned that one set down here is red, orange, yellow. So anytime that I am out, I'm gonna always bring my red, orange, yellow scooter to this line and line up behind the red cone. The blue and purple scooters, if they have those colors, then they're always gonna take it to the other end and turn it wheels up and then get in line behind the blue cone. So that helps us with organization and making sure that they're just taking it back to the correct place. Now, if I'm in line and it's my turn and I see an open scooter, I'm going to turn it wheels down and now I am in the game. And the object is, is to not get tagged by any of the taggers. Now there's four ways to get out in this game. Number one, if I go out of bounds, maybe the tagger is chasing me and I go out of bounds, I'm out. Number two, if I get tagged shoulder below, then I'm out. Number three, if I fall off my scooter, I'm out. Or if I'm not going the speed limit. And on our scooters, they're really fast. And so we want our kids to slow down when they are going backwards and make sure that they are watching. If they crash into someone, they're out. So if we are out for any of those reasons, they stand up, they carry their scooter back to the blue line, they turn it wheels up, and then they get in the back of the line. So, when I'm at the front of the line again, I see an open scooter, we teach our kids to be watching. If I see an open scooter, I come out, I turn the wheels down, and now I'm back in the game. So there's a couple of rules with the taggers. Number one, it's a light touch shoulder or below. And we don't police the puppy guarding. If they want to wait for their friend to come out and they're just going to sit and sit and sit, that's on them. That's not good use of their time. And we talk about that, but us teachers are not going to um, police the puppy guarding. Second of all, if I reach and I fall off my scooter, then I as a tagger am going to take my scooter outside the black line, turn it wheels up, do some sort of exercise. Maybe it's 20 squats, maybe it's 20 burpees, whatever you wanna do. And then they get to come back in the game and continue being a tagger. Now, we let them tag for about two minutes and then we will switch. When we say freeze, they turn it wheels up and they sit and I either choose a new tagger or I allow them to take the noodle and give it to someone else um, to switch places with and become the tagger. But scooter tag or cops and robbers, it's a great lead up to scooter board treasure. The setup is practically the same, or you can do relays in the beginning and have this as your main activity. But scooter tag, I hope you give it a try and make it a great day.